everybody, David here, aka Casanova, and welcome to my very first vlog of 2018. And today's topics are going to be about on how I got started on calisthenics. The second one, I'm going to be answering a few questions about calisthenics. Check it out. When was the first time I started calisthenics? It's a very good question. Uh, the first time I started calisthenics was in uh, 2015, I believe. Um, I've done pull-ups, I've done chin-ups, I've done dips. You know, all the regular basics of calisthenics, I've done all that way before 2015. And I strongly believe that my chin-ups and pull-ups helped me get to the next level in calisthenics. And that was the first time I built the bars in my backyard, he bars, which is called the dip bars, and the high bar, it's like seven feet. And that's where I learned everything from there. Can I use calisthenics anywhere? Yes, of course you can. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot. Uh, it costs very little. You can take it anywhere you go, traveling. You can take it out of the country, your own body weight. You can find any uh, places in the streets or anywhere in the neighborhood. If you find like poles, you can do a chin up there. You can do a pull up. It's not like the gym, you know, they have all these equipment there. And a lot of people say like, I need to go to the gym. I need to use that machine. In reality, you don't really need to do that. I mean, if you do, good for you. You're moving your own body. But then again, calisthenics costs very little. Like I said, again, you can take it anywhere you want, go to places, find anything to work out on, and believe me, you will get some good results if you keep doing it and do it forever. How often should I train calisthenics? Very good question too. Um, basically, there is no textbook, there is nothing that you can see and tell you, oh, you gotta train five days. You know, I mean, it's good to train all the time, thing is overtraining I don't believe in that some people might say yeah it's bad overtraining well it just depends on how you see it but sometimes you know I'll take breaks too every now and then like I said what I could tell you always pay attention to your body if your body says not today don't do it today if your body says you can do it the next day do it the next day you have so much to learn from your body and you got to pay attention to it do whatever it says and believe me you'll be fine what's the easiest and fastest way to learn a muscle up in calisthenics very good question. Um, basically, to learn a muscle up in calisthenics is going to take a while. Th that took me a while to learn, but the fastest way how I learned was doing explosive pull-ups and dips. Keep doing them. I know it gets frustrating, but just keep doing them and I promise you, you will get your muscle up soon. Will calisthenics improve my lifestyle? Yeah, of course. Uh, basically, it will change the way you live, your attitude, your self-esteem, and your character. Just keep doing that. And I promise you, you will have a different vibe towards life. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. I'm going to have to wrap it up. I will see you guys next week. Stay tuned for next week's vlog video. God bless. Peace out. One love.